I love using mnemonic devices. They make it so much easier to remember. In this video, we'll take a look at how I use images in Anki. Hey friend, if you're new to the channel, my name is Alexander and I make free software to help Notion and Anki users all around the world be more successful in their learning journeys. Some of the flashcards I create in Anki are hard to remember. The way I combat this is to add images. I like doing this while reviewing cards. Let's enter the review mode here with my Japanese deck. You can see here I already have a card, so it's it rains and I forgot that, so again. Here I don't have an image. We could search for the Japanese word. I, I use Google Images, that works. And then I'll try to find uh, oops, something. These don't look so clear for me, so I'm gonna try to search for it in Norwegian. <laughs> Here we have, yeah, so it's always nice to pick uh, funny images, something that you will remember. So. I try to use images which uh, yeah, provide something very unique. So in this case, I'm just gonna copy the image and then edit and then I'll paste it in here. Bam, now we have an image. So hopefully tomorrow I'm gonna remember it's air. So I'm gonna bury this card. That's uh, one way I would add images. You could also, if you wanted to, just to show that as an example, add uh, images from your local file system. This is one of the basic cases I use, right? You can save this image and then add it, which I do. And there's a shortcut for that in Anki, it's F3. Here's my image, bam, there. I have an image in there, and then you can use that to try to remember. That's one way. Another way to uh, use images is via Notion, where you could uh, just add images from um, the web, or you can use this nice uh, image uh, tool which Notion has, where you can uh, either embed the link, or you could add the image from Unsplash. But I already have images here, so I'm gonna reuse this. And I made this page actually uh, in another YouTube video, so I'll add a link to that. So what we're gonna do here is like the details there and then export this. There's no sub page here. And then we're gonna, after we uh, export it here, it's, it's like uh, it has several images. That's why it's taking a while. So it um, should be ready any moment now. Bam, it downloaded it. So you can see it unpacked it. And if I go now to toanki.net, which is the project we're gonna use to convert, let's go here and here's our zip file. Please make sure to pick the zip file, not the folder. I've seen some users of Notion to Anki, um, they picked a folder for some reason, so make sure you have the zip file. If you have images, right, then you don't. If you don't have images, sometimes you might get the HTML file when you export, but in this case we have images. So I'll pick that one and then um, let me go on the card option to make sure. Yeah, so what we want here is the basic and reversed. This way we're gonna get uh, one side where it says this uh, part and then another card where we just get the image first, right? So let's uh, pick that. This way we can practice both ways, um, going from text to image and then from image to text. That should work and then we can that will convert, it's gonna upload, we just wait a moment. And let me make sure Anki is running here. I have Anki. And depending on how many images you have, it might take a while, so just be patient. And there, it's ready, we'll open it, and then bam, we can see it created. And it's preserved the emoji we had from Notion. You can see here, it says Aomori, and that's all the way at the top. If I remember correctly, it's under Hokkaido. Mm, exactly, that was good. Ehime, no idea. <laughs> yeah, so I probably should create um, a mnemonic for this. So another thing I do a lot is the screenshots. So like I would watch a video, take a few screenshots, and also, I do watch the videos in like 2x speed. So so here is one uh, thing, we'll take a screenshot. It's like rule number one, right? So let's add a note, uh, yeah, mental note, and then we'll get back to it. A lot of people think that improv comedy is all about making funny new historical shows, but it's not. Improv is all about making the other guy look like a genius. And you do that by creating a culture of yes and. Now everything you and I do in improv is called an offer. And in order for me to bring along, you need to accept each other's offers and score them. Okay, oh, so I'm gonna teach you about, I wanna tell you about the benefits thereof. And I wanna tell you how improv can make your Now let's start improv comedy! So as you can see from the data data, it's Let me open your lower the volume here. Okay, it allows the conversation to flow and allows you to reverse engineer. Natural, yes, you should be here. So you need to do the job. Nice. Okay, now 
Okay, so now we have a few, uh, we have two. Uh, so then I would just go ahead here in Anki and I would create my deck in Prov. And then I would go in and say, add a card. And for now, we're just gonna make this a basic card, right? So we're gonna change this back to um, basic. And we're gonna say, uh, what is rule one of improv? Not improve, but improv. And then I'm gonna click the shortcut F3 and then go on my recent director where I have the screenshots. There, and this is very a very basic example. If you had more complex images, uh, it would be more useful, But for, uh, and you might even use the image occlusion thing, but for me, I have, um, most of my images are really basic, and you can also use the, um, the rectangle to select a portion, right? If you're not happy with a specific part. So for example, here, the image is too big, so I'm gonna remove that image and then add the, Let's see if the image gets saved. Just add this part, bam. And it saves you a little bit of time, right? So you don't have to retype this stuff. Bam, command enter, it was saved. What is the second rule of improv? An F3, and let's see, was it play? So there we can add the extra, right? Be playful, be, or play. Uh, be playful, be weird, be silly, <laughs> and be mindful. Bam. Could even use a closed deletion there, but we're, we're going to keep this basic, right? And then, bam, here we have it. And I think I remember this, so we say good. What is the... Yes, and. Cool. There. So, um... Yeah, that's how I use images in Anki. And um, let me know, know in the comments how you use images in Anki. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video.